hello guys welcome to another interesting video in the series of coding it is called find the town judge so it's given that in a town there are n people labeled from 1 to n and there is a rumor that one of these people is secretly the town judge and if the town judge exists then these are the conditions so the first condition is that the town judge trusts nobody second condition is that everybody trusts the town judge except for the town judge and the third condition is that there is exactly one person that satisfies these properties so we have to find the town judge so you are given trust which is an array of pairs representing that the person labeled a trusts the person b if the town judge exists and can be identified return the label of the town judge otherwise return minus one so let's quickly go through examples so for example we are given one and two that means one is the person who is trusting the person two. So two is not trusting back one. So that means two is the town judge. That is what we have to return. Going to the next example, one is trusting three, two is trusting three. So both are trusting three and three is not trusting anyone. All the conditions are satisfied. So three is the town judge. Going to the next example, one is trusting three, two is tr uh, trusting three, three is tr trusting one. So in this case, what we can see is that one and two are both trusting three but three is also trusting someone if three had been the town judge then three will trust nobody so the first condition is satisfied that you know one and two are trusting three but the condition where the town judge should not trust anyone that is not getting satisfied so the town judge is also in this case the town judge candidate was three but three is also trusting one so he is not a town judge so we have to return minus one there is no town judge going to the next example one is trusting two and two is trusting three so in this case also there's going to be no town judge because there's no clear person who is satisfying the conditions going to the next example one is trusting three one is trusting four two is trusting three two is trusting four four is trusting three so in this case we can see that there are two potential candidates three and four but we can see that for the candidate four four is trusting three so the town judge should not trust anyone then only he can be a town judge but in this case the four is trusting three so in this case four cannot be town judge so the other candidate three he is the town judge because uh, of the two conditions being satisfied first condition is that everyone is trusting everyone except the town judge is trusting town judge so for three we can see that everyone except him that is one two and four all are trusting three so first condition is getting satisfied and the next condition that is getting satisfied is that three is not trusting anybody so we can see that three is not trusting anyone so three is a town judge so let's go over to the logic of the code let's just take this example how we will solve it so let's take the same example so we have one is trusting three one is trusting four two is trusting three two is trusting four and four is also trusting three so this is our input of pairs of elements okay so let's create another array let me call it anything okay let me call it o for output so i'm going to store in this values from the same index of one till n okay so in this case i, I just have four people so i'm going to store uh, now let's start iterating over the array so one i'll meet the first element which is one now one is trusting somebody okay so first i will initialize zero for all the elements so i'm initializing zero this is my output array okay and what i'm going to do is every time somebody is trusting someone okay so every time the person who's getting trusted will get a plus one okay and every time if a person is trusting someone he is going to get a minus one so we can do this simple operation and we can see in the end we would be able to get the result so in the end whoever is having n minus 1 counts in the output array that person is going to win so let's quickly go over and do this so first element that we meet is 1 so 1 is trusting somebody because it is in, it is in the first part so 1 is trusting somebody so I am going to erase 0 from the output array and I'm going to put minus one. Okay, now I'm going over to my next element. My next element is three. Now three is getting trusted. Three is getting trusted by someone. So for three, I'm going to put a plus one. For getting trusted, three deserves a plus one. Okay, similarly, I'm going over to my next element. Now one. One is again trusting somebody. So one is going to get a minus two. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my next element, which is four. Now 
फोर इज गेटिंग ट्रस्टेड बाई सम सो फोर इज गोइंग टू गेट अ प्लस वन सो फॉर गेटिंग ट्रस्टेड फोर इज गोइंग टू गेट अ प्लस वन आई विल राइट इट इन द सेम कलर एंड आई विल गो ओवर टू माई नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट सो माई नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट इज टू सो टू इज ट्रस्टिंग समबडी सो टू शुड गेट अ माइनस वन फॉर ट्रस्टिंग समबडी एंड वी कैन गो ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट सो माई नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट इज थ्री थ्री इज गेटिंग ट्रस्टेड सो थ्री शुड गेट अ प्लस वन so three will get a plus one three already had one stored in it so that one will now become two now i will go over to my next element which is two so two is trusting somebody so two will again get a minus one so it will become minus two now and let me go over to my next element which is four so four is getting trusted by somebody so four should increase by another one and four will now become two and i will again go over to my next element which is 4 in this case 4 is now trusting somebody so 4's value will decrease and it will decrease by 1 so 4 will become from 2 to 1 now let's go to the next element which is 3 3 is getting trusted by somebody so 3 will become plus 1 so in place of 3 For the next three, I will store plus one, so it will become three. Now I can see three is clearly the town judge because there are four people in this town, and out of four people, three people are trusting him. So hence, three is the town judge. So let's go over and let's implement this in logic. That's it. It is as simple as that. So I'm going to declare vector int. Let me say output, and its size will be n plus one. And initially, I can initialize all the elements to be Zero. Now I can iterate over the trust array. So for int i is equal to zero, i less than trust dot size i plus plus. Now I can start storing the elements in output. So output of trust of i of zero. That is the first element. So the first element is the guy who is trusting somebody. So since he is trusting somebody, he'll get a minus minus. And if he is being trusted, that means trust of i of one. If that person is being trusted, he will get a plus plus. So that's it. And then we will iterate over our output. So for int j is equal to one, j less than equal to n, j plus plus. If if we are able to satisfy the condition that is output of j is equal equal to n minus 1 then in that case we can return j who is going to be the town judge otherwise if this is not getting satisfied we should return minus 1 so let me run and see if this is right so it's working so let me just submit and see if all the test cases are passing Yes so it's accepted solution thank you for listening please like and subscribe if you like the video thank you